Collier Report. I'm Monty Collier. Sadly, today we have countless numbers of people who wrongly believe that Lordship Salvation is Calvinism. It's absolutely absurd. But these people were taught this heresy of Lordship Salvation by heretics such as John MacArthur, R.C. Sproul, Wayne Grudem, James White, Paul Washer, John Gerstner, Stephen Lawson, and many, many more. Because people today do not study the Bible, because people don't even take the time to compare the writings of Luther and Calvin to heretics like John MacArthur and R.C. Sproul, they mindlessly grab onto these people and just repeat their claims like some moronic parrot. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to refute these chumps when they come and say that if you reject Lordship Salvation, then you're a hyper-Calvinist. We're actually hearing that now because they cannot defend their doctrine of justification by faith and works because they cannot defend John MacArthur's mixing of law and gospel. They simply resort to idiotic name-calling and they will call you a hyper-Calvinist. So in this video, I'm going to show you a standard reply to these chumps. So let's begin by remembering that Lordship Salvation is the heresy, that the gospel is a call to self-denial, that it is a call to obedience. Here's how you can reply. You will die in your sins. If you think you can merit salvation by doing good works, you will die in your sins. See John chapter 8 verse 24. Calling those who teach justification by faith alone and salvation by grace alone in Christ alone, hyper-Calvinists, does not prove the false gospel of justification by faith and works, which is Lordship Salvation. You think by denying yourself, you can become good enough to be saved? You think you can save yourself by self-denial? Well, so did all the old papists, and that is why they formed and joined monasteries. So they might deny themselves and achieve salvation while they tried to separate themselves from the sinful world. If you believe the gospel is a call to self-denial, as MacArthur and Sproul and others teach, you are merely a papist. Listen carefully. You are a papist. You have their basic theology of justification. If you believe the gospel is a call to self-denial, a call to obedience. Even if you have not joined the Roman Catholic Church, you might as well, for you hold to the gospel of justification by faith and works, the false gospel of Antichrist. Now a young Martin Luther also sought to achieve salvation by denying himself a lucrative law career, the riches it brings, the fame, and the respected status that comes with being a lawyer. So Luther, trying to obey what he thought the gospel was, a call to self-denial, a call to obedience, Luther joined the Augustinian monastery after nearly being killed in a thunderstorm. He took a vow of poverty, then set out to keep John MacArthur's false gospel, which was the exact gospel taught by the Roman Catholic Church in his day. And he did so by trying to deny himself and earn salvation. Yeah, MacArthur and the Pope both teach essentially the same false gospel. I kid you not. Luther tried his best to keep the demands of the false gospel, to deny himself, to achieve salvation. But deep down, Luther knew he could not do this. He knew he could do no good thing. He could do no work that satisfied for his sins that God would accept, for he was totally depraved. See Romans chapter 3, verse 12. Luther listened to the popular preachers of his day, men and monks like John MacArthur, who preaches the same garbage today, who taught that heaven can be won by the commitments of men and their good works. But 
Luther's conscience condemned his best efforts. It condemned his attempts at self-denial. It condemned his attempts to make a commitment to obey Jesus and save himself. See Isaiah 64, verse 6. Luther knew he was doomed if salvation depended on his self-denial and his attempts at doing good works. He knew he was doomed if salvation depended on his commitment and his allegiance to the Lord Jesus Christ. Think about that. Luther admitted that he came to hate God as a result of trying to keep the monkish gospel of Lordship Salvation. But God had mercy on that old sinner named Martin Luther. God caused Luther to stop listening to the wicked prosperity preachers of his day, men like John MacArthur. You could find them during the Dark Ages. They flourished in that period. And that's why we're seeing the United States of America plunging into the Dark Ages, because these are the men who the people of this country look up to and worship. But God caused Luther to go to a tower all by himself and study the Bible apart from the interpretations of popes, priests, and the church traditions and confessions of his day. As Luther studied the Bible for himself, the Holy Spirit opened his eyes, that's called Word and Spirit, and caused Luther to realize that we are saved by the mercy of Jesus Christ alone. Only the mercy of Christ alone saves us, not by our self-denials and our works. The Bible says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, The just shall live by faith. Romans 1, verse 17. Now Luther realized the gospel in its proper and saving sense is not a set of commands that we must obey to be saved not a call to obedience nor a call to self-denial but he understood he came to understand and believe that the gospel is something totally different luther realized that the gospel is good news that reveals the perfect saving righteousness of jesus christ alone luther came to understand that it was the righteousness of jesus christ alone that entirely satisfied all the demands of the law for us, for all of our guilt was charged to the Messiah. Christ's good works were legally imputed to us, freely credited to our accounts, and we receive this righteousness, this imputed vicarious righteousness by faith alone. Luther realized that the gospel announces the glad tidings that God judicially declares us acquitted, justified, freely accepts us, gratuitously forgives all of our sins, past, present, and future. Not for anything in us, nor anything done by us, but only for the finished work of Christ alone. Now the reckoned righteousness of Christ alone is the only legal basis for our justification before God. So when Luther understood and believed the true gospel, by God's grace alone, that this gospel tells us about the saving righteousness of Christ alone for us and is not about any righteousness we may do to try and save ourselves, then, and only then, was Luther converted. On that day, Luther ceased to believe in the heresy of Lordship Salvation, the heresy of Roman Catholicism, the heresy of justification, by faith and works. Luther stopped believing in justification by faith and allegiance and commitment to Jesus Christ. And he came to believe in justification by faith alone. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deed to the law. Romans 30, verse 28. Notice the Bible doesn't say that we are justified by faith and our self-denial. Notice, Scripture does not say we are justified by faith in our obedience, not by faith in our commitment, but the Bible contradicts John MacArthur's heresy of Lordship Salvation. And remember, anything that contradicts the Bible is necessarily wrong. MacArthur 
and Sproul and their Lordship Salvation heresy, it's wrong. In conclusion, Luther realized, as do all Bible-believing Christians, that salvation is not something we achieve. It's something we receive by faith alone, by God's grace alone, all according to Scripture alone. God bless.